What's up, rich people? It's me, Haley, and I'm a financial pop star. And yes, the rumors are true. I love a digital asset. Cryptocurrencies are my shit. They're basically the Kardashians, but as an asset class. Confused? Let me explain. The first crypto on the scene was Bitcoin the same way the first Kardashian on the scene was Kim. And the same way that Kim gave her damn sisters careers, Bitcoin paved the way for other cryptos called altcoins and other digital assets like NFTs. But how did Bitcoin even pop off? We all know that Kim broke through with her sex tape. Did Bitcoin have a sex tape too? No, actually it didn't, but it did have a white paper written by an anonymous author called Satoshi Nakamoto. So really, Bitcoin is more Banksy than it is Ray J. The white paper popped off in 2009 after the financial crisis. People had major distrust in the banks after the crash. So the idea of a digital currency that wasn't connected to them was very appealing. Bitcoin promised lower transaction fees and safety because it is protected by the blockchain. And if you're like, WTF is blockchain? Click here to watch my video where I explain it using Jordan Woods, another Kardashian favorite. And if you're like, WTF, you can't just make up a currency. Well, actually you sort of can because things have value that we give value to. Like when you think about it, a dollar is really just a piece of paper but that's money, baby. And the same thing is true for Bitcoin. Okay, so now that we're clear on the OG, let's discuss the Bitcoin spinoffs like Chloe and Courtney and altcoins and NFTs. The most popular one is Ethereum, which is sort of the Kylie of the altcoin world. Ethereum is very similar to Bitcoin, the same way that Kylie is very similar to Kim, but it also provides some improvements on the original model, like faster transaction times and it started a billion dollar makeup line. But what's an NFT though? They are a Bitcoin spinoff as well. Sort of like Chloe and Kim take Miami, except instead of being a currency, they are a non-fungible token that can be used to represent unique digital assets like art. Non-fungible means they are non-interchangeable. So unlike with a Bitcoin where you could exchange one Bitcoin for another Bitcoin and still have a Bitcoin, each NFT is unique. This all sounds fine, it sounds great, until you hear these stories about how NFTs are being used. Jack Dorsey literally made his first tweet into an NFT and it sold for almost $3 million. NFTs are being used to commodify these wild digital creations and it sort of feels like we're being with. But in the same way, if there's one thing I've learned, about digital currencies, it's that anything has value if we give value to it. So like if someone is willing to pay almost $3 million for a tweet, then who am I to say that it's not worth it? And also remember when the Kardashians started out, we were all so skeptical and now they are worth so much money. So the same could be true with cryptos, who knows? Anyways, I've actually got to go turn this video into an NFT, but please do not forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel. Give this video a thumbs up so I get into that amazing algorithm. Love you, YouTube. And of course, as always, stay rich, bitch.